In today's video, I'll be walking you guys through how I plan for our courses that we publish to our second YouTube channel, Paperless Humans, in Apple Notes, and how I schedule them in Apple Reminders to view them in calendars by Riddle. It sounds a bit complicated, but it's actually not. It's really a simple minimalist setup that I'm hoping can give you guys some ideas of how you can switch between apps slowly without really disrupting your workflow. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications to join the family. If you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. To master the use of the apps that we cover on this channel, make sure you head over to our second YouTube channel, Paperless Humans, for both free and paid courses. You can also access them on our website via Patreon. And we even have them on Udemy, if you prefer that. We will have a link to all of that in the description down below. So I've been using Apple Notes as my go-to note-taking app for more than two months now. I never thought that I'll get used to the pen tool. I've disliked it for years. And at first, I just started using the pencil tool for almost everything. My scrapbook right now, everything is written in pencil. But the pen tool has grown on me. My handwriting is not looking great or amazing or anything, but, you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I still have some notes in Noteful. So for the old courses that we're still finishing up, I have those in Noteful. But... For new courses, which is in this case, I'm working on the course for Apple Notes on the Mac. I'm only using Noteful as a reference to an old similar course that I did for the iPad. And I usually do this looking at the app on my MacBook. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll have moments of just not writing anything for minutes at a time when I'm going through the actual application. I love that I can easily add space between sections of my notes in Apple Notes so I don't have to follow a chronological order of thinking or taking notes. And this has really just changed the way I take notes because I can just write something and know that if I need to add anything before this, I can just create the space in a matter of seconds. This is the first rough draft. It will change as I do the different episodes, but um, it helps to give me a rough idea of just how many episodes I have to cover and what each episode will be on. It just helps me to make sure that I have everything covered and that I don't miss anything. So I have a folder for courses and I have a lot of ideas that I'm just writing as they come. I realize that I will easily get ideas lost at this rate. So I created some tags for course plans and random ideas so I can easily just go to those each time I need a specific course or some idea that I need to work on. I imagine this might get more complex over time, but I do have a tendency to delete notes that I no longer need. Before integrating Apple Reminders into this workflow, I used checklists in Apple Notes. I don't like how Apple Notes handles them, so I quickly ditch that idea for the one that I'm about to show you. After I have the rough idea of the different episodes, I have to move everything to Apple Reminders. What I love about this setup is that it's very easy for me to go back to my notes if I ever need to. As the course goes on, I add notes and I make comments and stuff. It's always important that for every task, I'm able to go back to the original notes from my reminders, from my tasks. So after I have all my course episodes in Apple Reminders, I then plan for them as often as I need to. So this ranges. Sometimes it's every day, other times it's once a week, um, sometimes it's once every two weeks. It depends on how well I'm checking off my checklist and the targets that I'm setting for myself. I view and track my schedule every day from calendars by Riddle. And sometimes I schedule things from within the app. 
I tried doing this in Apple Calendar at first because we can now view our reminders. So this is how it looks. And I think it's a little bit too much that I can see all my future reminders. Some that I don't even need to see as far as next year. I think this is too much. Really didn't like this. There's no option to not show future events. And you guys already know that I dislike the way Apple Reminders marks completed tasks. So you also have that in Calendar. The only thing I do miss in the current app that I'm using from Apple Calendar is the vertical scrolling. Calendars by Riddle only supports horizontal scrolling. I also dislike that the app needs you to add calendars. The idea behind me using this is that I can integrate it with Apple Reminders, but I don't want to integrate it with my calendar. I'm naturally inclined to try and turn this off, and every time I do that, when I come back to the app, I'm prompted to add a calendar like now, which is just unpleasant. I loved how this app looks and it was the perfect setup that I was looking for. I can view all my to-dos from Apple Reminders in a calendar setup. I also have access to all my to-dos from Apple Reminders, but unfortunately, my sections don't show up. I really need to see those sections in my to-dos. It's important for when I'm planning. So I'm just going to bring Apple Reminders up and I've been switching MacBooks a lot lately, trying to pull everything together from all the different devices and the different accounts that our team was using. Has been a little bit hectic, so I'm a bit disorganized because I feel like every MacBook I'm grabbing feels like a new device. Once I have my reminders on the site, I can start planning my week. Apple Reminders was very buggy on my MacBook. I had to add dates several times because they kept disappearing. After a few attempts, I gave up on trying to do that on the Mac, so I switched to my iPad, which is why you will now see to-dos just appearing on my calendar. It turned out that even on the iPad, Apple Reminders is buggy. These are the pains of running public betas on all your machines. Data disappearing after you add them. So for each reminder, I had to do that at least twice before it stuck, which was a lot of work and took a lot of time, and it was generally a painful experience. Calendars does justice to completed tasks. The app checks off and strikes them out my greatest obsession with to-do apps. If an app can't strike out my completed tasks, I am probably not going to use it. That's the main reason I'm not using Apple Calendar for this. I also like that Calendars doesn't put too much information on my calendar, unlike Apple Notes. I don't have tasks till next year that are repeating every day or repeating every week. That really helps me feel less overwhelmed and it was one of the reasons why I chose to use this app over Apple Calendar. I've been playing around with ideas for weeks now and I think this is the best setup I can come up with at the moment. Do you guys have any suggestions or ideas that I can add to my workflow? Do let me know.